Namaste. In this session, we are going to study about the role of human resource management in uh, corporate sustainability and corporate social responsibility. After attending this session, you should be able to recognize the role of HRM function in corporate sustainability. You should be able to recognize the role of HRM function in the CSR as well. In this session, we are going to discuss and which you should also be able to distinguish the economic, social and ecological aspects of sustainable HRM. In order to understand the role of HRM in the sustainable development and corporate social responsibility, we must understand the grand challenges this whole world is facing. These grand challenges are related to economics, social and environmental problems. For example, climate change, poverty and hunger, growing economic insecurity, restricted access to education to a large portion of population, all these are the grand challenges. In the international level, at the international political landscape, also we are looking at uh, a rise of the anti-globalization sentiments. At one point of time, globalization was pursued and conveyed as a panacea to all the problems, but now the negative aspects of the globalization is coming up and as a result, many societies and countries are more and more skeptical about it. So, they are uh, rising against it. Uh, in many parts of the world, due to uh, political conflicts turning into the war or the civil war kind of situation, a inflow of migrants and refugee is happening in many parts of the world. Uh, xenophobic backlash is being observed in many countries. Uh, China is also uh, acting as a superpower and exercising and trying to exercise the hegemony all across different parts of the world. Uh, terrorism on the name of religion has become very prominent threat in the current times. So, we can see uh, at the international political landscape many such challenges are emerging, have emerged and they are bound to impact uh, how as a civilization we address the grand challenges in front of us, how business organizations uh, play role in addressing those challenges and how HRM function can impact those grand challenges on the face of these uh, major international uh, features and how HRM respond to the requirement of the time on the face of this situation. Sustainable development is expressed in terms of 17 sustainable development goals. These were adopted by all the members of the UN. These goals are related to reducing poverty, hunger, providing good health, well-being, providing good education, ensuring gender equality, uh, making the clean water and sanitation available to all the people across the world, making the clean energy affordable, providing decent work and economic growth to the world population, facilitating industry innovation and infrastructure, reducing inequality, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production. Uh, peace and justice uh, and having a strong institutions, uh, partnership for the goals, life and life on land, life below water, climate action, these are 
the sustainability goals, seven sustainability goals which are adopted by all the countries of the world. Corporations naturally have to play a very important role in achieving these goals. Corporations are not only business entities, but they are also increasingly recognized as agents for social change. And we see growing number of partnership between corporations and governments to address many of such challenges. Uh, there is an emergence of dedicated corporate sustainability or corporate social responsibility departments in many large companies. There is a proliferation of voluntary self regulatory codes like UN global code, uh, like green business related codes, like supply chain related the sustainability of the supply chain related codes, use of the forest uh, material, uh, they are codes related to that. So, codes related to pollution, codes, codes related to the efficiency of the vehicle, there are many, many professional organizations which are developing codes of the best practices of the standard of their procedures voluntarily. So, they are not waiting for governments to decide uh, and come up with the regulation about certain control and certain standards of process, but they are coming up their with their own goals with their coming uh, coming up their own codes. And so, that is what we are seeing all across the world. Uh, profit with purpose is recognized is, is being talked about in the corporate world. We discussed some bit of it in a session on humanistic management which uh, this that was part of the session on the positive employee relationship. Uh, goal of creating shared value, not only developing uh, value, not only developing economic value for the shareholders, but creating wealth for all the stakeholders. It is more, it is accepted more and more as a gold standard for business. Pursuing triple bottom line, that means the, uh, constantly looking at the impact of business on not only the bottom line, which is the profitability of the organization, uh, which is the bottom line related to prosperity of the company. Looking at the impact of all those process on people and planet, that is also becoming a norm and more and more corporations big and small both are awakening to this, not only awakening, but they are integrating these things in their measurements, in their uh, performance tracking and naturally in their way of doing business. So, here is the quote by uh, Paul Paulman, the ex CEO of Unilever. He said that uh, we now have the opportunity to eradicate poverty and deal with the issue of climate change. What bigger opportunity do you want to see? Uh, companies make up 60 percent of the global economy. If they do not play an active part, how can we solve these crises? So, uh, there is a greater awakening that corporations need to pitch in to address the grand challenges this world is facing and those grand challenges are very well captured in the uh, sustainable uh, sustainability goal uh, adopted by the all the country members of the UNO. In that context, we need to understand the role of HRM. So, sustainable HRM, we, we hear about it, it can be of substantive and of symbolic nature. It is called substantive when the firm sustainability effort and CSR activities are integrated in their processes and they are serving the cause of the business. Whereas, research also point out that business as usual tendencies, decoupling strategies or greenwashing that is uh, demonstrating some symbolic acts here and there about the social and environmental responsibility while leaving the core business untouched. That is, that is what we call symbolic uh, uh, sustainable HRM. So, what we are going to discuss in this session are the substantive sim 
substantive uh, sustainable HRM practices.